With large U.S. stock indices reaching new highs on an almost daily basis, investors are once again wondering what they should do. If you're fearful of going it alone, there are loads of choices for financial advice. How do you know where to turn? Stick it under the mattress. That's it. <laughs> No. Way to do it. <laughs> Jill Schlesinger, editor at large of CBSMoneyWatch.com, is here with some better ideas than the mattress idea. Or the cash. Yeah. First, it's important to interview the, your potential financial advisor, but what should you ask? Well, I think the most important thing to start with, you just say very nicely, are you a registered investment advisor? First of all, this is going to make everyone freak out because <laughs> that's a real question. The answer, if it's yes, it means the advisor owes you, hold on, a fiduciary duty. What is that? It's a fancy way of saying that he or she must put your needs first. The next question is, how will I pay for your services? There's three basic ways to pay. Fees based on an hourly or a flat rate. Fees that are based on a percentage of your portfolio. That's sometimes called assets under management or AUM. And the last way is a commission that you pay based on a transaction. How often you expect to trade, whether you want your money proactively managed, these are the kinds of questions that will help determine which model works best for you. But long story short, if someone is actually by law bound to put you first, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the way to do it. I guess the worst fear is a Madoff situation, so people want to avoid that. How do you make sure you're in a protected environment? Well, you know, there is no way to fully protect against a criminal, right? But one very good question to ask when interviewing these advisors who who aren't associated with a large brokerage or an insurance company is say, hey, wait a second, do you or your firm have an independent third-party custodian or clearing firm? What does this do? This prevents the advisor from having direct custody of your assets. It adds another layer of security for your account. Now, on MoneyWatch.com, it's pretty cool. We've got the dark side of the personal finance industry. I'm not a hater. I came from that industry 20 years, okay? <laughs> MoneyWatch.com. It's a great industry filled with wonderful professionals. You really have to understand the right questions to ask to really make sure you get the most out of your relationships. Excellent. We look forward to that. Thank you so much.